Metal Jesus, and I'm back again with my good bud, Drunken Master Paul. Cheers, bitches. How drunk are you, sir? I am pretty hammered tonight, actually. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day, Tater. Now, we are going to do something a little bit different. This is going to be an episode on gamer food. And, uh, yeah, we decided to do this because, A, we like to play games and have snacks and food and drink and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know other people might like that. And you are uniquely qualified to do this. Yeah, I'm pretty much, uh, well, I'm an attention whore for one thing, so we're going to leverage my cooking background. I was on uh, a couple shows, um, mostly doing cake stuff, but I actually do know how to cook. So you're going to have kind of some unique and interesting like recipes for us to try? Absolutely, and... stuff that you, you, yeah, that's right, you can make and very easily and eat while you're gaming without pretty much fucking up your hands and getting all gooey and getting in the controller. Cool, I can't wait to see what you have. All right, let's hit it. Let's take a look. Okay, so the premise around this is really, really easy. It's essentially a homemade Pop-Tart. And the great thing about this is you're gonna be able to make these and either just chuck them in the freezer or bake them right away. Have a whole bucket of these things and be able to om nom 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 all night long. Now, the great thing about it is we're going to use already pre-prepared pie crust. Now, yeah, I've, I've cooked for a long time. I know how to make a pie crust from scratch. Believe me, it's a pain in the ass. But it's, for the most of us, for the most of us, yeah, for most of us, it's just go to, I went to Trader Joe's and got frozen pie crust uh, to make this with. It'll be really easy, you're gonna love it, and you don't have to make it yourself. So, let's get rocking. Here's some uh, stuff we're gonna shove in there. Really easy, you have sweet and savory, right? Because that's, like me, I'm both sweet and savory. Beef stew and some Hormel corned beef hash, just for the savory we're gonna shove in there. Then we're gonna put in uh, apricot preserves. You're gonna love this. We make a s'mores-like thing. We put marshmallows and chocolate chips. Salted caramel macadamia nut clusters. Macadamia nut cluster, one of my pet names in college. And skillet bacon spread. I shit you not, this is like shredded bacon and happy all in one container. And we're gonna put it in a crust and bake it and then eat it. Preheat your oven to some random number. Does it feel like an elephant's testicle? I'm just curious. No, more like a nipple. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Need some alone time. Oh yeah. You like that? Uh, so you need whatever shit you're gonna put in here and your trusty pizza cutter. Now I know you all have pizza cutters because you're gamers and you like pizza, right? Trim this off into a square. And then cut this into... We got some delicious apricot stuff. Mmm. Oh, not too bad. Some beef stew. Yeah, oh, that's gonna be good. Have you got the concept yet? We're just folding these over into little raviolis of happy love with whatever you have in the cupboard. Now that one's gonna be a disaster. Nobody expects gamers to be able to cook. And you don't have to do with this stuff. That's the great thing about it. Did we do two of those? We did one. Nobody knows, nobody cares. Folding it over into a nasty mess. Ta da Moving on. Macadamia nut clusters. Let's put one of those in there. Sure, why not? Roll that up into a little puff pastry thing. This will be a pocket, come on. Fairly nutritious. Mm -hmm. This is about as nutritious as eating your laundry. So another one we're gonna do, and you guys are gonna love me for this one, skillet bacon spread. Oh, it, it's love right there. If they, they should pass a law that would allow you to marry this, seriously. 
wad of bacon spread in there. Oh, okay, we're working it now. Why does everything I put in here look like it's been eaten once already? I don't know. Well, then let's put some marshmallows and chocolate chips in one of these damn things. And you might need to wet your finger, you know, loop your finger up a little bit for these to get all stick together, but I've actually thawed this dough out to the point where it's really quite sticky. There we go. So that should wind up as a total unholy mess in my oven. Some hot mango chutney. Mmm. Is that actually gonna be good? You have no idea, do you? No, I have no clue if this is gonna be any good or not. Okay, the last thing we're gonna shove in these pockets is cheese! Jesus! It's like metal Jesus! Ha, 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 ha. Okay, we've got everything loaded into the dough, and now you just gotta poke some holes using a very small, delicate instrument. And then we're gonna shove it into the oven. That was really hard. How hot is it? I got 375, but that's just because I just randomly put it there. Uh, I'm putting it there for maybe a half hour. We'll check it in a bit, all right? Just stay there, drink, drink. You drinking? Mm, I think those are done. Oh, so hopefully we didn't burn the shit out of anything, but mmm, yummy! Alright, let's uh, get these on a plate and get the Metal Jesus in here to try them out. So which one did you grab there? That's... This, this one's some sort of stewy thing. Okay, the stew? Alright, stewy thing. Stewy. Oh! That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Where's the chocolate and the macadamia thing? Um, I think that's it. Mmm. That's hot. <laughs> mm. I'm such a spice sissy. Now that's it. How'd that turn out? Mmm. -hmm. I'm gonna find where's the a bacon one. Mmm. Mm. Mm. No, this is not. This is apricot napalm. Mm. No. Oh my god, this is good. It's a mango chutney one. It's really good. I'm so pleased. Oh, wow. the rest of these I'm really happy with. So yeah, what you do is just go and get some some basic some pie crust at Trader Joe's or wherever you're gonna shop, and cut it into squares. Slap a glob of whatever you like in there, fold it up, and then bake it, or you can freeze it and then bake a whole shit ton of them for when your friends come over to game. And it's really really easy, and you don't fuck up your hands too much. Actually, these are a little, a little sticky, but not too bad. Not too bad though. All right, so more yummy stuff for you. Now get back to gaming where you belong. Definitely. All right, thanks for watching our channel and thanks for subscribing. <laughs> this isn't the uh, the cleanest food. Yeah, I, I did notice that, that. The whole idea is to be clean so you don't fuck up your controller. So yeah. It's a little greasy, but I, I still like it. What the fuck is this one? Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Mm. That's so good though. Too. Explosions of flavor in my mouth. Mm -hmm. That's what you give me. Ah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> By the way, you stole me 50 bucks. <laughs> so they're good, I like them. Mm -hmm. They're not quite as clean as I'd hope, but you know, fuck it. Yeah, few things are. Mm-hmm. Cool, huh?